This video for week two of the orientation module is about the overall approach of the Design for Learning program. The Design for Learning program has been developed based on established research in the field of online instruction, the experience of course developers and other leadership team members through many years as both online instructors and learners, and the feedback we received from two cohorts who went through early versions of the program. Our first cohort began working September 2015, and the second cohort began working February 2016. They included participants from all over the country, from all types of libraries, subject specializations, and library experience levels. Based on their feedback about the program, now we've made it even better. Throughout this program so far, we have had a lot of fun teaching online about teaching online. In our own development of course materials, we've tried to give you positive examples of a range of best practices, and at times we've tried to be very transparent about methods we are using in these courses, which you may want to use yourself when you develop your own units of instruction. Some elements are consistent throughout all seven modules in the program, and some are different in accordance with each course developer's personal teaching style and our desire to show you different approaches. We are librarians and library professionals, not commercial e-learning designers. We're modeling the kinds of online instruction you can create without necessarily needing expensive software and years of technical experience. Professional development resources have existed to teach library workers one aspect or another about teaching online, focusing on specific software, for example, or a theoretical approach to instructional design without putting it into practice. However, the developers of this program have recognized the need for a more well-rounded approach, specific to library instruction. We will introduce you to a variety of tools and help you evaluate them, but we'll point you to external training about specific software applications, because you're all likely to have different software needs. D4L will help you learn about teaching online in a holistic, applied manner. Through the Design for Learning program, our participants are able to, number one, successfully transfer face-to-face -face teaching and learning skills and pedagogy to the online environment. Number two, evaluate and gain experience with various platforms and tools for online teaching and learning. Number three, design and create online instruction and instructional materials. Number four, practice teaching and learning online. In the next video, we'll talk more about how you'll be applying your learning to your own capstone project.